Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be working on a custom code. I want to make a cute little witchy dress using this kind of balloon hem dress base. And I wanted to make it purple and black. I wanted to match the mage hat that has that's black with a purple stripe across it. Purple's my favorite color. You're welcome to do this dress in any color that you want but I will put the color palette down in the description below, as well as a link to a photo of the actual pixels so that you can copy this code if you would like to do that. Um, I'll go ahead and upload a file for you guys and it'll send you straight over to a template. And I will put the color palette on there as well for you and hopefully that will help you out. So right now what I'm trying to do is make a little bit of ri a ribbed kind of texture on the corset and then I want to make the shape of it like just the basic shape and in the purple I want it to be like a dark kind of velvet color and um, I want it to be very textured like um, almost wrinkly looking if that makes any sense i just don't want it to look too perfect uh, i don't want it to be too smooth or too perfect looking um, and i do change the color palette as i go along i do that with all of my custom codes i guess i don't always show it to you guys but i left it in this time because i wanted to show you that as i make these outfits and things i do change out the colors um, pretty often throughout the making of these custom codes. I start out with a basic color palette that I think that I like and that I think is going to work. And then I tweak that to suit what I'm actually making. And um, to because sometimes colors, they look good on the palette, but then once you're putting them into practice, they don't do what you want them to do. And it's totally okay to go back and change it. You don't have to be married to the first thing that you put down. So I want you guys to understand that, that that is a part of the process for me as well. Nothing comes out perfect the first time. Uh, this code took me about 45 minutes. And as I'm making it here, I am experimenting and adjusting. And um, this is not, you're seeing my entire process. This will be much easier for you um, as you copy the pixels. But for me, I am making it and texturizing it and trying to figure out what I'm liking. I did go back and I made the purple a little bit darker. Um, I also changed the base color to be a little bit darker and I wanted to use the lighter color for some highlights because I want there to be almost like a shimmer in some places on it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it does in my head and I can see it in my head. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know if that sounds crazy, April. Anyways, I liked the way it looked on the dress and so that's what we're going with. We're making this little uh, shimmery kind of um, velvety kind, like, kind of fabric on here. And generally those work with darker colors. So I did make the purple very dark. It's actually not as dark as the uh, hat ribbon though, surprisingly enough. So I just copied and pasted the back to the front and now I'm just gonna tweak it in order to adjust it for the front and the bodice and what I wanna do in the front of it. I do want it to be a laced corset. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lacing there. It doesn't have to be complicated. It literally is just two dots with one line in the middle in between them connecting. And then I brought that down a little bit more just uh, to show a little bit more of the shirt in the front and just so that it looks like it is a little bit more textured. I put a little collar on the shirt because I thought it would be cute. And I threw some buttons on it because, I don't know, again, thought it would be cute. And that's it. That's the only reason. So going to the sleeves, they're very simple. It's just going to be that striped little pattern. Now, I do shade the tops and the bottoms of the sleeves. And the reason I do that is because naturally um, they're going to be bunched up on the top and bottom. So in real life, you would see some darkness in and shading in the bottoms and top of the sleeves and I wanted to keep it as realistic as possible because, you know, that's what we do with custom codes. I do try and shade them 
realistically and since this is a very textured dress I wanted to make sure that it kind of showed that a little bit and then I just copied and pasted it now down the front I do want to do like a tie I want to tie it in the front and then I want to have a split where the underskirt is showing so that's what I'm going to do right here we're going to do the little string tie and that's I kind of like that. I did an edging on the skirt in black where it parts just so that the contrast would be higher. And then I went ahead and shaded in the skirt portion of it and added in the stripes that um, come from the top of the screen as well so that it would kind of follow through like if that dress underneath was like a whole slip. And that's it. Made a little ruffle on the bottom because I wanted that underskirt to be a little ruffly. And we are done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this code. I really do think it came out super adorable. I cannot wait to see yours. Look down in the description if you want any tools to help you make this. And I thank you for being here. I know you can be anywhere on the internet and you chose to spend a little of your time here with me. And I always appreciate for you for that. I hope you have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.